Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video and gameplay. So today we've got Encroaching Elusives again. This is a championless deck. This is a Green Glade Duo and Encroaching Shadows deck. It's an all-in deck. Um, basically you win or lose every time. Well, of course you win or lose every time, but basically you, it's a very all-in play once you do it and there's not really any going back and you either lose or win after, after playing it. So what we want to do is win the game around turn six, seven, or eight. And so depending on what cards you have in your hand, you really have to plan accordingly so that you can finish at those that point in the game. You don't want to go super late in the game because they have a lot of spells and stuff to interact with your units. And yeah, you just have to be pretty careful with how you use your cards and mana just so you have enough on the turn that you want to end the game. So um, from the very beginning, we're mulliganing pretty aggressively for Green Glade Duo. And then throughout the course of the game, we really want to draw her and we want to draw Encroaching uh, uh, Shadows and we want to draw pretty much all of our really um, cheap cards so that when we put out Green Glade Duo and we go for the end, we've got um, multiple Green Glade Duos out potentially and then we use our really cheap units to buff her up so that she can get a one hit kill onto our opponent. So yeah, we, we mulligan aggressively for her. Then we use Glimpse of Beyond, Key Guardian. We've got uh, Stalking Shadows and Shadow Assassin to kind of pull more cards and to act as blockers early on in the game. All right, so we've got a couple of cards here that are interesting. So Navori Blades Count, Oblivious Islander. You really want to try pulling these um, early on in the game as well. And with uh, Stalking Shadows, these cards come in, like, they're very handy to have at that point in the game, because not only are they going to be elusive, um, or the Navori Blade Scout, they're going to also be buffed by Encroaching Shadows. So those cards are very, very strong at that point in the game. Um, and then also depending on kind of the matchup, if you're going against a fairly low attack stat and matchup, the Stygian Omlicker can be very good as well. Um, it can also help you early game as well to get a little bit extra damage if you want. Um, make it a little easier on your on your Green Glade duo later on in the game. It just really depends on the matchup. Um, you never want to use Haunted Relic before getting the Green Glade duo down. I guess never is kind of a strong word. Sometimes Haunted Relic can be used to block um, enemies if if your hand is really full and if you know they're going to win the game so you can use that Navori Conspirator you want to almost use exclusively on the um, Oblivious Islander and Navori Blade Scout just to get more they're very cheap so you can use them over and over again and um, this the Oblivious Islander gets increased value the more times you use him on units like like the um, Silent Shadow Seer so anyway, that's about it. Yeah, we're just trying to use Encroaching Shadows. Once we get it, go all in with, with Green Glade Duo and with all of our elusive units and win the game. So that's about it. That covers pretty much the entire deck. It is kind of difficult to play. This is definitely not an easy deck, and you have to plan ahead and be very um, aware of what your opponent's trying to do and also their deck. It's not a very good deck in the meta right now. There's a lot of elusives running around to block our units as well as Targon with Hush. So just keep that in mind as well. If you want to kind of have a good time playing this deck, this is definitely a fun one. But yeah, don't expect to win a whole lot of games at the moment. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. We're going to use Karma and Garen. Karma Garen. So there's a good chance that there's going to be some combat tricks. Just because he's got Garen. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to get rid of everything but Encroaching Shadows and hope to get Green Glade Duo, which I do not. There we go. That's not bad. Um, I do think we play the Oblivious Islander here. Let's go like this. It doesn't attack. I wonder if this is another Grand Plaza deck. This could be a Grand Plaza deck. Alright, so I'm not going to attack yet. Why does he do this now? I don't really understand that. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Let's go with the Silent Shadow Seer here. I'm going to go for an attack and then use Glimpse Beyond if he's got something like Sharp Sight or Single Combat. Or 
or in that. I'll gladly take that. That's a waste of a spell. Okay, perfect. So now we know he can't really play anything else here. I'm not going to attack, and then we're going to try to, I guess, finish round six. Maybe. No, we just want elusives. I don't think we play the Stygian on Liquor. We got 7, 15, 16, 15, 19, okay, I think we got enough now, 16, 20. Mistake that game should have used the Green Glade Duo to block the three damage unit, but we're kind of an all-in deck anyway, so damage doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, but yeah, there we go, four-minute game, pretty fast.